eTutor is an open source, web based learning environment designed with accessibility as a priority, conforming with a variety of international accessibility guidelines. As part of the Web Accessibility Challenge, eTutor has implemented the ISO FDIS 24571 standards, also known as Access for All. This standard includes two substandards, the Personal Needs and Preferences, or PNP, which describes personal learning requirements, and the Digital Resource Description, or DRD, which describes how learning environments should adapt to each user's individual learning needs. Together, these standards describe characteristics of learners and characteristics of learning systems and how they should interact to provide an optimal learning experience for each individual learner. In addition to basic A-tier settings, users have control over four areas of personal needs and preferences. Under display settings, users can control the superficial appearance of the environment, controlling the font that is displayed, the size of the font, foreground and background colors, and highlighting colors. In content settings, users can control which modality content is presented in when alternatives are available. In our case, we're going to choose alternatives to visual and select preferred alternative as audio. We'll come back to this momentarily when we create some adapted content. Tool settings can be set to display various scaffolds that learners might use to support, support their learning, such as including a dictionary, an encyclopedia, or a calculator. Control settings can be used to control which navigation elements are presented on the page. For instance, at the top of a content page, a table of contents can be added to, for quick navigation within a page. Next, previous navigation buttons can be added to help users navigate through content in a sequence. Or breadcrumb links can be added to help users navigate through content in a hierarchical fashion. The second piece involved in implementing Access for All in eTutor was creating an adapted content editor. In this case, we have a simple content page that has some text and an image, and we want to create an adaptation of the image so a person who is blind, for instance, will be able to hear the content rather than have to view it. So to modify this page, we click on Edit This Content, go to the Adapted Content tab. Here we see on the left a list of the files that are available in this particular piece of content. In this case, it's a single image. And on the right, we see a list of files that are available in the File Manager that we can use as adaptations for the image. So first we need to define the image as visual in nature and then update the resource properties. Then we select the image and select its adaptation and then press the Add button to create an association. Here we see that the password reminder SWF file is now a subsection associated with the password reminder JPEG. So we've defined the JPEG as a visual resource. Now we need to define the password reminder flash movie as auditory. So we select auditory, update resource properties, then save. So now that we have our settings set to replace visual with auditory, when we save, the image will be replaced the flash version. This is the shot of the eTutor password reminder screen. In addition to being able to set personal needs and preferences for users and to be able to create digital resource descriptions for authors, it also needed to be possible to export content out of eTutor and either import it back into another eTutor course or perhaps import it back into another learning management system that supports the IMS 
content packaging standards. So to do this, an author would click on the Manage tab in eTutor, select Import Export Content, select the content to be exported. In this case, we're going to export lost passwords. We're going to choose Content Package as the form to export, and select Export Access for All Adapted Content. So it gets attached to the content packages when it's exported. So we click on the Export button. This generates a zip file of the content package and downloads it to a local folder. In this case, we're just going to download it to our desktop and then import it back in to another course. So the file is now downloaded. We go to our other course, click on Manage, and then Import Export Content. We find the file we just created and we import it and it's going to insert the page after the administrator's entry in the content menu. So we import that and there's our lost password page. We open that up, you'll see that the adapted content is back. This is a shot of the ATITER password reminder screen. So we can revert back to our original content settings by going to my start page, clicking on preferences, then content settings, removing use alternative to visual by selecting no, saving that setting, then we return back to where we left off in the course we were just viewing, and the flash will now be replaced with the original image.